Uh, my question is to the Treasurer. I refer the Treasurer to a statement by the Premier to this House, and I quote, AAA credit ratings are not handed out lightly. They're not handed out to states gripped by economic mismanagement. Can the Treasurer outline Victoria's current credit rating from Moody's and Standard & Poor? Order. Assistant Treasurer, the call was not to you. Treasurer. Well, I thank the member for his question. And uh, can I say that the Victorian government, uh, at the time that the Premier made the comment, of course, was one of only about three, four sub-sovereign jurisdictions on the planet uh, that had a AAA credit rating. Uh, and of course... Was there a global pandemic, mate? Uh, I, I, am asked, I am asked what happened. Order. It, I understand it is lonely in opposition, but perhaps the Leader of the Opposition is aware of the fact that there was a worldwide pandemic. Um, but whilst the Leader of the Opposition was uh, busy collecting lint from his own navel, we were looking after the, the well-being of Victorians. Treasurer will resume his seat. I ask the order. I ask the order. Ask the Leader of the Opposition once again to stop referring to members across the table by their first names. Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. Speaker, on relevance, the Treasurer was asked for the current credit rating and he's yet to go anywhere near responding. The order. Leader of the Opposition. Leader of the Opposition, I would ask you to show some respect to the Chair. Treasurer was being relevant. The Treasurer to continue. Uh, so, uh, to answer the question quite directly and technically, our rating is much higher than the Leader of the Opposition. Yes, exactly. Uh, speaker. That's exactly uh, right. <laughs> order. Order. Manager of Opposition Business. Order. 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 Leader of the Opposition. Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. Speaker, the Treasurer knows not to debate the question. I'd ask you again to ask the Treasurer to deal with the question. Oh, do ask the Treasurer to come back to the question. Well, uh, the question comes at a rather opportune time uh, because I had a wonderful discussion today with the head of Moody's Ratings Agency. Um, so I do actually happen to know the rating, and I also know what they think of the way that the government is managing the, uh, the budgetary position and the challenges that every jurisdiction across the planet is dealing with. Um, and might I say, next week, I'll have another discussion with Standard & Poor's, and those discussions basically recognise that the state the state with a double A credit rating, not the triple A that we had previously, but Order. certainly. Is the oh. Treasurer to resume his seat. <laughs> Member for Sandringham on a point of order. Thank you, Speaker. And on relevance, all we want to know is the rating. Order. I cannot instruct the Treasurer how to answer your question. The Minister was being relevant to the question that was asked. So, uh, a double A credit rating, it's pretty good by international, by international standards, like pretty good. And might I say, I, I only picked, up the, picked the up the paper the other day to see the, the, the new Treasurer of New South Wales yeah. bemoaning the fact of the disaster of a budget that he's inherited from the Liberal Party, basically prognosticating that they're, they're almost certain to lose their triple A credit rating. Uh, so, uh, of the states, of the states, we will be effectively on the same rated number, double A, as every other state. I think there might be an issue with the ACT, who I think not at the state. moment are uh, not a state. And of course, uh, we are too busy funnelling our GST funds to the ACT. Uh, 2.8 billion dollars, 2.8 billion dollars of ta Victorian taxpayers' money every year being shifted to other states, like Queensland, God bless them, $12 billion in surplus and getting subsidised by Victorian taxpayers. And 
And, and let me say, if we had that $2.8 billion on our balance sheet, I'm pretty confident that I could say we would have a much better credit rating going forward. But, as is always the case, it falls to the State of Victoria to protect the Order. nation. Order. Minister's time has expired. I would hope for this last question that members will listen to the answer rather than interjecting across the table constantly. Member for Sandringham on a supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. I refer the Treasurer to Moody's assessment of Victoria's budget, which says, we do not expect Victoria's debt burden to stabilise before the end of fiscal 2028, maintaining negative pressure on the state's rating. Can the Treasurer explain how a budget of higher taxes and higher debt will in fact improve Victoria's credit rating? Good question. I call the Treasurer. Well, it's good to see that the uh, member actually has spent a bit of time reading our budget, as clearly Moody's have, because you know, it's not late-breaking news that we haven't stabilised debt at the moment, but we are pretty, pretty close to it. 0.1 of 1% of GSP, as a matter of fact, in the final years of the forward estimates. So all that the member has done is read the budget paper or quote Mo Moody's, who've probably read the budget paper per uh, perhaps more forensically than uh, the member himself has. What we do know as oh, a Moody state himself. is that we are consistently making progress against the only jurisdiction in the nation's uh, uh, pathway to demonstrate how our fiscal repair plan works. Uh, we have created over 460,000 jobs. Our economy is running 25 per cent faster than the rest of the nation. We are producing operating cash and operating surpluses in our Order. forward estimates. Treasurer's That's time has expired.